Oh, holy shit, mates. Back in the port of Southampton on a sunny afternoon on a Saturday. A little bit chilly, but we're here to see the allure of the seas. As she departs Southampton for a bit of a stretch of her legs in the English Channel, dump a bit of grey water, make sure the propellers work, and then back to port, I would imagine. I've sped up this portion of the video just so that we can interestingly watch the under the seas perform a turn at the end of the docks where the containers port is. Ah, alas, my batteries only last so long. As this is such a large ship, it's a long process. On, on our right here, we have the Queen Mary 2, and behind is the uh, container ship, which is dwarfed by the size of the allure of the seas. I think we should just run through a few of the figures for the allure of the seas. Launched in uh, November. 2009 and costing 1.2 billion dollars. Gross tonnage of the Allure of the Seas is 225,000 tonnes. 362 metres long. Beam of 47 metres. And a height of 72 metres above the water. Now, I've gone for another battery. This is definitely a, a three battery dronage this time. 18 decks in total and 16 passenger decks. Speed is 22.6 knots, 41.9 kilometres an hour for you uh, continental types. Or 26 miles per hour for us British people. Capacity on board is a maximum of 6,780 passengers and a crew of 2,200. Total souls on board is in the region of 9,000, which, to give you some idea, is the equivalent of the town of Shanklin on the Isle of Wight. You could just sail up to Shanklin and take the entire town on a cruise. Very impressive indeed. It seems the uh, starboard engine is a bit smoky, or something smoky. sun coming in, you can just about see the, the beams of light. Slightly hazy, as you'll be looking across the forest in the background. Not as clear as it could be, but with this COVID-19 pandemic apparently the uh, skies are getting clearer. Recently it seems to have been hazy here in the port. such an enormous ship, it's difficult to fit it in to my camera all in one go. There are a number of shipmates on the very top of the ship, I don't know if you can, you can see, but certainly I could hear them shouting and whistling at the other shipmates on the other cruise ships. Fellow shipmate suggested that he would like to see some footage of the lure of the sea leaving. So I was happy to oblige. 
They also suggested I record the audio as the uh, as the ships do honk at each other. Unfortunately, I, I don't have a suitable solution for recording audio very easily. I will need to investigate something a little more portable. You may be thinking I could record audio on the drone, but in reality, all you can really hear is the whine and drone of the propellers. Not something that's particularly pleasing to the ear. What I'll need to get is a small portable recording device just to pick up some ambience and, of course, the honking. Now we see the interesting stern of the allure with the rock climbing walls and the big atrium and the flow riders and the golf course and the table tennis court. certainly be tempting to fly straight through the middle of the ship. But alas, I'm not allowed. I would need to seek permission of the captain for such a audacious adventure. But I think we're going to come round here for a lovely photo opportunity just as the sun is coming through the clouds. Oh, yes. There's been some quality photography lately. Not often you get to shoot so many ships in port all at the same time. Until next time, shipmates. <laughs>